Hey guys, Davin here at Brewbits.com. Behind the camera we've got James. Say hello James. A little while back, to be precise, December 23, I bottled up some Cooper's Mexican Cervezas and uh, we did it on camera and we did um, the straightforward Mexican Cerveza. We added some lime to one of them and we added some Jose Guerrero tequila to uh, one of the others. I thought it was about time that we actually did a little bit of a taste test. So, let's get going. So, well, this is the straightforward Mexican Cerveza. This is one of our most popular lager kits that we sell. Look at that. Lovely, crisp, fizzy. Very clear. That, that, that is beautifully clear. And it's got that lovely kind of tan saw, uh, saw, straw colour to it. It's got a lot of maltiness, it's got all the European sort of lager, Spanishy lager flavours that you'd expect from something like a, a Mexican cerveza. Okay. Mm, that is lovely. Lovely malty, a little bit of toffiness going on in there, but very, very light. Amazingly easy drinking. So then, to one of them, we added some lime juice. And well, I can tell you, this is James's favourite. Nice and lively again. Beautifully clear. Not much difference in the colour. Well, why should there be? We didn't add a huge amount of lime to it. Oh yes, that's very different already. You've got those malty biscuity tones underneath, but then you've got the citrus, you've got this actual lime coming in. It's almost like we've taken a sole and we shoved the lime in the top and pushed it down in. Yeah, you really do get the lime come through. I was a bit surprised, uh, I was a bit concerned, um, I mean, by the amount of lime I'd actually added to it. I didn't think it was quite enough, or was it too much? No, it's, it's back right, it's... Gives it a little tiny more acidic edge. You get all the, the limey flavours coming through, and it tingles on your tongue a bit longer as well. So, that was the one with the lime. Now my favourite is the tequila one. And that's way extremely lively. And that's because I love tequila. Look at that again. Lovely and clear. Really fizzy this one, wow. Yeah, you can get the, the little hint of the uh, tequila coming through even on the nose. On the nose, it's actually taken away the maltiness. The tequila is kind of hiding that, that malty flavor in, in there, the malty aromas. <laughs> James held me back on adding more tequila. Probably glad he did actually because that is lovely. That's a very desperate drink. Oh my god, that's so lively and fizzy as well. You're not getting very much of the multi tones on this one, but you're getting the bit of tequila kick. And of course, because we added tequila to it as well, it actually up the ABV slightly. It's still my favourite. I know the lime is James's favourite. Cheers, James. But the straightforward Mexican cerveza, still one of our best selling lager kits. But it's just something you can do. You don't just have to make the straightforward lager kit, you can judge it up, you can add extra things to it. So this was just some straightforward lime juice. This was. Uh, Double shot of tequila or something like that, I can't remember now, but ooh. I always know I've had tequila, it makes me happy. Anyway, that's um, three Mexican cervezas. 
zhuzhed up, made a little bit more interesting. Why not have a go in the comments down below if you've um, made any amendments to a Cooper's Mexican cerveza, let me know. I might try it myself. But for now, cheers. Let's make us everybody happy. Happy bread. <laughs>